I couldn't believe these houses. I, I, I stumbled on them and I just thought, boy, what a great place to draw. I draw the windows, I, I draw the shapes, and I look at a window and I think I'm almost inside the lives of the people who lived here. Fifty-six years ago, I was a freshman at Carnegie Mellon. I was in Howard Warner's uh, freshman drawing class, and our class was sent out into the neighborhood to draw houses. And I had a great time and found this kind of magical place called Panther Hollow. And my wife and I have just moved back to the area, and I decided to do the drawing class project again. And this is the first drawing that I did. And you know, I draw outside. I sit in that chair that I set up. I, uh, I just had to feel the connection with this place. What I was fascinated by was the skyline, actually. That irregular, magnificent, <laughs> odd skyline. This drawing took a long, long time. Uh, in fact, I think it was over two months to get it done. There it is. I spent, I think, about two weeks just trying to get the feeling of that old, old stone that you see over there. It just tells so much about the place, the materials that the, they used when they built these houses, and they're still here over a hundred years later. First drawings took a couple hours to make. Each drawing now takes about, oh, I would say, six weeks to two months to do because of the detail work. It, it takes me, oh, I'd say uh, a week to try to figure out where it is I'm going to sit when I draw something. The eraser plays a big part of making these drawings work because I make lots of mistakes. I'm drawing this uh, yellow house. I'm just crazy about the, uh, the, the amazing brickwork. I'm gonna try to capture the simple neatness of it. It's, it's amazing. All these drawings are freehand. That's why they don't look like photorealism, because they are not photorealism. Such amazing spaces when you, you just sort of are pulled into that little space between the two houses and up the stairs and... I, I do do carpentry work. I'm good with a hammer and saw. Uh, and so when I work on these drawings, every step of the way I feel as if I'm rebuilding these houses. Because I feel as if I'm building with pencil, uh, brick by brick, stone by stone. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to draw in other parts of Pittsburgh too. So uh, it's, it's a wonderful feeling to connect with the people, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren, who built these amazing houses. And if it's 
a lesson in perspective, a lesson in composition you're looking for, this is the place.